The inspiration for this video comes from a comment suggesting an entire video series on compilers, tool chains, and build systems. And to be blunt, my first thought was, no way. I am not going to learn how to do the same thing over and over in different build tools because doing the same thing over and over with different tools and frameworks is the bane of a software developer's existence. Besides, pretty much every build tool does the same thing with the exception of oddballs like CMake and Premake. So in this video, I'm going to explain how pretty much every C and C++ build tool works, and then we can talk about individual ones. All build systems read some sort of script, and then based on the script, they will run the compiler once for every source file using the command line parameters specified in the script. And then once all of the source files that need to be compiled and have been compiled into object files, it will run the linker to link all of those compiled object files into a working program. And that's it. Now, OK, things can get complicated, actually a lot more complicated. There are some scripts have very complex configuration rules, and the build scripts might need to run other tools as well, like, for example, a code generator. But at a high level, that's the way all of the build systems work, because they, have to, they all have to do the same thing. Now, some of you will be thinking, well, what do I need the build system for then? I could write a shell script that does that. And true, you could, and it would work, but build systems have a killer feature that make them the right tool for the job. And that feature is incremental builds using something called change detection. Now, you see, your shell script would recompile every single file in your code base, whether it needs to or not. And code bases can get big, like really big, thousands of files. Look at, uh, have a look at a project like WebKit. Uh, WebKit, if you build it from scratch on a fast machine, it might take maybe half an hour. I don't know what it's up to now. Uh, on a slower machine, you can look at hours. Right? Now, imagine having to wait that long every time you wanted to test your code. It's like, yeah. no thanks. So what a build system does is it'll look at the source file and say, has the source file changed since I last compiled it or any of its dependencies? And if the answer is yes, then it will recompile it. Otherwise, it'll skip it. So if you've only modified one source file, it'll only compile that one, link everything back into a program. And this is a difference between waiting for half an hour to hours or waiting for seconds to minutes. It really is a game changer. You want to be able to regularly compile and test your code, and waiting that long is not an option. What about CMake and PreMake, the two oddballs? Well, they're what we call meta build systems. So like the others, they will read in a build script. But then instead of running the compiler on the source files, they will generate a build script for one of the other build systems and let that build system do the actual build. Now, why do it that way? Well, it means you can have one build script, and you can use it with pretty much any compiler and any build system. So on Windows, you'll probably want to use Visual C++. On Linux, GCC. On Mac OS X, it'll be C line normally. You can use whatever is best. Remember how I balked at the idea of creating a video series? Well, thinking about it a bit more, if I were a beginner, I'd really appreciate having some kind of comparison because there are so many options and how on earth are you going to choose one? And it doesn't help that so many C++ tutorials skip over explaining how to compile your code to a working program. So, OK, you don't need to twist my arm any further. I'll create a series comparing CMake to various different build systems at a practical level. And so CMake will be the reference. And the rules will be simple. I will compile the same code using different build systems, and I'll try to make them do the same thing within reason, because some things are more easily done on one build system than another. If you want to see that, then hit the subscribe button and the notification bell so that you get notified as soon as the videos are released. Oh, yeah, one more thing. Fellow software developers, please do not create another build system. Yeah, I know, I know, they all suck. But you know what would suck more? You adding another one to the mix. Don't do it.